In this demo, I want to show you how you can configure cluster aware updating. So this is a function of our high availability or failover cluster service. So if we bring up the failover cluster manager, um, we can see an option right here in the middle that says cluster aware updating. So let's go ahead and launch that. And that's going to bring up a different tool. You can see it brought up here a separate window. And it allows us to specify that we want to connect to a particular cluster in the environment. Okay, and we can see down here a little bit of information. Not only did it find the nodes in the cluster, that's all well and good, but it also down here, it gives us an update summary and any log of updates that are currently in progress. So, so far we haven't done any updating. So over here, cluster actions, apply updates to this cluster. So if I click on that, it's gonna bring up a wizard, uh, helps you apply updates immediately to this computer and the other nodes in the failover cluster. Okay, now notice the red X here. This connected cluster, cluster one, does not have the enabled CAU cluster role. This is required to start a self-updating run. So we can click cancel out of here and then click configure cluster self-updating options, which you can see which are right over here, so self-updating options. Now, a lot of times what we do is we have a dedicated server in the environment that is running the cluster aware updating and it's pointing to these other clusters and it's pushing the updates to them. It's configuring them, it's restarting the nodes as necessary, and it's making them run. I'm running this on you know, the same system right now that is my cluster, and maybe in a production environment we wouldn't do that. So let's cancel this wizard. But you will notice right here, configure the cluster uh, self-updating options. So if I choose that, as it mentions, to use self-updating. So it's gonna, this wizard will help us walk through that. With self-updating, a failed cluster, a failover cluster can update itself at scheduled times. And if we go ahead and click next, and we can verify that this is what we want to do, um, and click next, we can do a schedule, the frequency of self-updating, daily, weekly, monthly. When are we going to start this process? What time of day are we going to do it? So we can make any changes to these settings, of course. And then under advanced options, um, we can make some changes to some of the values or parameters. This is almost like editing the registry in a way. Okay, and we'll save them into an XML file. So this is some advanced configuration that has to do with any scripts that we want to run pre and post, any reboot timeout minutes, uh, a specific node order we might want to go in. Okay, examples like that. Um, so this is all can be brought in from an XML file if we want to store some of that type of information in an XML file. Let's go ahead and hit next. And then of course, additional options for Windows Update, and then just a confirmation of what we're about to do and configure. So we can apply that. Let's go ahead and click Cancel. Now we can preview updates for this cluster. So initial set of updates for each node. So if I click on preview update, um, to see the updates that would, be that would currently be applied to each node, click generate update preview list. Now this would require an internet connection. We would connect to the internet and see what updates are needed and it'll build the list for us. Or create or modify updating run profiles. These are the profiles that we can utilize. These are those XML files. Now we can learn a little bit more about those if you want to click on that link. But it's the idea that we can store some of these as settings that we can reuse so that you don't always have to know what all the different values are that you're supposed to plug in there. Now we can generate a report on past updating runs and then also analyzing cluster updating readiness. Okay, as it goes through, it's going to go through an analysis here to see, are we ready for uh, the ability to perform these updates? Now I'm going to go ahead and cancel that readiness check. 
But these are the various different options that we have when we're working with the cluster aware updating. It's a very powerful new feature for keeping a cluster updated. Um, so I'll go ahead and minimize that. Um, so cluster aware updating, something that we may want to do in our environment so that the process of applying updates to these clusters is done in a managed way. We're doing one node at a time and we're specifying what order we would like them to go in and we're experiencing no downtime and it's very automated.